from 1917 to 1974, basically, I believe I was with Russia. Um, and that's what that means. The, the, there was a parade or whatever, a celebration in 1917 when I joined Russia or when J Russia joined me. And basically from 1917 to 1974, I was with Russia, basically, I believe. And I was actually supposed to be in the White House and with America, but that didn't work out or something like that. So, I don't know. So anyway, so I was with Russia, basically. Well, I mean, like I said, mostly I'm Europe, actually. Like I say, Germany, Belfast, um, all that, basically. So 1974 to 1917, I was with Russia. I mean, 1917 to 1974, I was with Russia. And then past then, then 1977 to present day, I was basically in America. So, or supposed to be with America, but of course, like I say, then we get into Rodney and, and blah, 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 and I'll be your eyes, I'll be your nose, and she'll be your ears, and your blah, blah, and it's like, you're a fucking idiot. Anyway, my Russian council was much better. Like I said, from some point in time to some point in time, I was with North Korea, so or something like that. Anyway, I've played a part, a major role in this whole planet and other planets and stuff like that, so... Um, like I said, you would know me as Lucifer of the Dark, or the Dark Lord, or something like that. Um, the one that was before, before there was ever any light in the, in the universe, basically. When we were in darkness, or something like that. And then I built the first star, and some other people said, No, you attract other life, and they'll come and kill us! But they didn't. Anyway, other life forms were, were, were just wondering how we did it, or how we did that, or something like that. And we shared the information or something like that with them, I believe. I granted them the information on how to build stars. So, anyway, I think. If I remember right, what we did is was we shared their information. I said, well, we'll just share them so they can build their own. And they'll, they'll leave us alone. So... So anyway, so I just gave up the information on how to build stars or something like that. I forget. It was a long time ago. Like I said, it was a hundred billion, trillion, zillion, quadrillion, forever, long ago. And so anyway, though, a lot of life forms were like, were like, no, it'll kill us. Or the, or the other things where the humans were like, it'll kill us. And they weren't even in existence yet or something like that. I don't know. Like, um, I, it was just me and my exoskeletons are 1.5. It's like, I don't know. Ask the exoskeletons, ask the 1.5s. They were in existence a long, long, long time ago. Talk to them. I don't really know. Basically, all I know is that, is that they considered me the Dark Lord, and then I was the, the Lord of the Light, or Lucifer of the Light. And, um, and, but I was supposed to be, but apparently there's a little switcheroo or something like that where basically Nixon or someone else was the Lord of the Light or pretending to be the Lord of the Light, but he wasn't the Lord of the Light or something like that. I don't really know. And that began the whole frame job and or something like that. I don't really know. I don't really don't care. Anyway, so there was this whole big time space, like little like, you know, thing. Um, anyway, though, we got past it, of course. So... They were trying to end me at some point in time in existence, and it didn't exactly work out for them. So, anyway, so anyway, it's a lot of it's a lot of different things, and people. I used to remember it better, basically, to explain it better to you, if you wanted to know. It used to be common record, basically. It's like, yeah, I had an epic existence, which was very much on record. Like, of course, everything's remembered and photographed, and. Many other life forms saw saw my stars and everything else, and like I said, that's how I picked up the name Star, or Lucifer Star. So, anyway, so I mean, um, I named myself, or they named they they named me, but basically, I'm the epic Lord Lucifer Star of the first stars. So, but somebody else was trying to pretend to be Lucifer Star or something like that, or there were a couple other people that were going around trying to pretend to be Lucifer Star or something like that, and it was a massive identity theft, and they were doing all kinds of things like pretending to be me or something like that, and like, I don't really care. It's like, whatever, they're stupid. Like, like I say, I mean, what a couple of other people, you know, they were very much humans, they were very much just normal people just pretending to be, you know, they, they had found out about my story or they had heard of me or they had 
happened upon one of the tablets or something to find out about me, and then so they're just running around like they're me or something, and it's like they're not me though, and there's only one me, and I changed my name to Brian at some point in time, probably so because of all the other annoying people. So, but I'm actually Lucifer Star, also known as Lucifer White Star. I said it was in Germany and Belfast when, when basically some Germans were tortured, or a German that was looking after my finances was tortured and killed, and then some Irishmen walked in on it, or found, found him the next day, and then somebody was trying to say that they had tortured and killed the German, but like I said, they worked for me or something like that, or whatever. Anyway, anyway, they, they, they took over the yard anyway, though, and did everything exactly the way I wanted it to be done, though, so... so. Thomas, and, and they even asked me if, if it was okay if they used my first name as their last name or something like that. So, you know, so so people would know of my name, basically. So, so anyway, so it, was, <clears throat> so it was Thomas O'Brien or something like that, and basically he was working for me. So, so the Irish knew of me. Um, uh, the Germans knew of me. I believe the Russians knew of me since I was with them between 1917 and 1974. The North Koreans also knew of me. And also other planets and galaxies, don't we? So, anyway. Epic existential existence. Yeah, anyway. Anyway, and then uh, basically it was all going swimmingly, as they say, until about uh, 1974, 1977 or so, when you get into the Nixon, Rodney, whatever, fuck up. So... When Rosalie decides that she's going to be my ears or my eyes and Rodney's going to be my dick, I guess, as he was going around fucking women. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah. And I was just being a child. They took away my shoes. What was I supposed to do? Walk to the White House? Like I say, it was just stupid. You know, I mean, it's like, whatever. So other people hanging around the White House, you know, came to an understanding that basically I was not in the White House. So Lucifer White Star was not in the White House, nor anywhere around D.C. So I had to be somewhere else. So and they began the search for Lucifer White Star. Because the White, the White House was my mine and my whatever and my building, but I wasn't there. So where was I? Well, the answer is, is 1475 five, I mean, not 1470, I mean, seven, uh, 471 Mountain Drive, basically, um, in California, Santa Barbara. So, and that's where Lucifer White Star really was. So eventually people would find the fear of this out. Like I say, um, the Mexicans, I put in, a, uh, put in a, a water system in Mexico and then um, basically built the town for... for uh, Puna Valina, Val, uh, the, basically the the the, the, the Mexico. Like I said, there are all these queens. There's this queen of of, of Mexico, and like I said, uh, um, Nixon and JFK automatically assumed that the men would be in power, and the power should rest with the men. But with me, the power rested with the women, as I liked women. I liked to work with women, and I found that women were much more um, existence oriented, as they say. And the women were actually designed to be existence oriented, as in they take care of their children, they take care of themselves, and even sometimes take care of their men. So, so basically, in women, the whole the whole makeup of, of of a woman basically is basically much more existence oriented mentality and whatever. And they're supposed to have higher intelligence than men too, and also live longer, on, you know, and blah blah blah. They were they were designed that way. So anyway, anyway though, so. So of course I used mostly women for my all my big things basically, and then they would direct with the men and stuff like that. And the men were pretty happy with that; they didn't mind, you know, pretty face to talk to, and all that. So anyway, and everything, you know. Anyway, so so basically I was turning the country over to her, her and she had three husbands or something, or th three men she was with basically, and eventually I talked her into basically choosing only one, which she did. And then he was killed by the federales or the federal government basically or something like that. And she thought I had gone to go kill her. Like I said, they only knew about the men or whatever. They didn't realize about her as being the true whatever. Anyway, and she got and eventually she got married, and that's when they found out of, found a picture of her or whatever, and they went after her or something like that. Like I said, she was a wonderful woman. And she and she and she told me about about the slavery problem inside of in uh, in in Mexico, 
And so we dropped off uh, four, four, tr four, four wagon loads of, of, of weapons, basically, for her and her people to basically defend Mexico. So, anyway, so, and then she and her men basically trained a military force and basically dealt with the, <laughs> the incursion of basically uh, Truman and, I guess, um, um, Roosevelt and anyone else that would threaten Mexico. Long live Mexico, as I say. And I basically designed the Mexican language as well, so, at some point. So, anyway. Uh, whatever. So, it's a long, 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 long history. And it's like, well, you know, it is what it is. So, anyway, it took um, uh, Kennedy or Roosevelt or someone a very long time to discover any of the intricacies of basically how the world is set up. So, as I had set it up. So, anyway. And then, of course, you get into the stomp group and blah, 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 blah. And all kinds of other craziness. And it's like, well, I'm your lord. I was the lord of the universe or lord of my races for a very long time. And it's like, shrug, you know, I'm on vacation. This is my time to walk among you. So, and probably someone else's plot to try and have me killed. So many people want to be dead. And I'm surprised I've survived this long. Nixon wanted me dead. <laughs> JFK wanted me dead. Um, uh, what's it called? Um, Papa wanted me dead. The Bloods and the Crips technically want, want me dead for the wrong reasons. Like I said, uh, it's not my fault. Um, like I said, I explained the situation about how Papa, you know, the, some Bloods and some Crips or went to go rape some German women, and basically German women were taught self-defense, and they defended themselves. So... Basically, the Bloods and the Crips died. I, like I said, uh, I believe Papa was supporting, or the Bloods and the Crips were basically going with JFK and Nixon and everything else like that as their whatever. And uh, Jimmy Carter was trying to say that he was God or some great religious leader or something like that, which he wasn't, of course. He was just a military guy that shot people and killed people during the war. And then, of course, there's um, John McCain and the White Star submarines and all this, all the crap that he did to the islands, basically raping um, um, British women and also and also Chinese women on those islands, basically, and also trying to fo poison the food, the, the 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 food distribution network, which was supposed, supposedly some general or somebody that was dripping basically Ebola or, or Black Plague or something on on the meat. But anyway, and there's all this stuff as they were just trying to steal gold or something like that. Anyway, I don't know. Which is ironic because it's something, it's, it's, it's a metal I named. So anyway, anyway though, it's like, yeah, there's all this chaos and craziness. And it's all, you know, as basically Unit 731 and the and the hospital in, in China or whatever was basically, I, I built it. I, it was my people that invested it. I've invested it and I built it. So... Anyway, it was a very high-tech facility when it was built, and blah, 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 but hundreds of years later, basically, it's run down, blah, 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 And there's water, blah, 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 and basically flooded into the whole system of what is your existence, as I was building your civilization. So, because I'm number one civilization builder. It's what I used to do for a living. So, anyway, I'm retired. <laughs>